This is Rob the Sapper Gardener representing Essiance Family Garden and today in the Essiance Family Kitchen we're going to be making a hot pot. We did a shorts video um, about a week two weeks ago uh, before the holidays and it was on hot pot or shabu shabu as my wife calls it from uh, her Filipino culture and everybody said Rob can you do a longer video showing how you set up your hot pot, what you put in it, and give a little bit more information about it. So today we're going to show how to cook a hot pot. So hang tight, we'll show you some of our ingredients and give you a little bit of history on it as we go along. So we love hot pots uh, in the Philippines where my wife uh, was born and raised it's called uh, shabu shabu or hot pot we use those terms interchangeably and a hot pot is basically a soup prepared at the table um, in a pot soup base and then you start adding your different ingredients into it we uh, purchased a hot pot And our hot pot is divided. It's got kind of the yin-yang separation in it. Uh, we also have a hot plate, which I'll put up a uh, uh, still of that that we can set at the table. And our hot plate is an electric hot plate. You can use propane hot plate, which some cultures do uh, that we've seen. And you don't have to have a separated pot if you're doing a hot pot for a small group or if everybody has the same taste in that group you can do that but if you've got a separated hot pot then you can do a spicy soup you can do a mild soup you can do a tomato based soup you can do you know a bone broth or chicken broth based soup and we definitely have different tastes in our household uh, my wife and son, they love spicy soup. Super, 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 super duper spicy. And I'm more of the mild type. So today we're going to be doing a slightly spicy soup. And we're going to do a soup that my wife is making from scratch. Uh, they do sell soup bases and we've got some of those. So let me show you a few of our soup bases right now and then talk to you about some of so my wife, Mrs. SG, has started some of the uh, foundation for her soup blend. She's uh, cooked a uh, bone broth with uh, some different vegetables in it. We've also got some uh, roasted vegetables, some uh, garlic, taro root, ginger, a few other things. Um, we've got one of our dipping sauces made with some chili pepper some uh, soy sauce and a few other ingredients there and uh, you can obviously build yours up to suit your taste you can you can also pre-purchase some which we have done uh, we have recently started making our uh, hot pots at home and one of the first things that we did is to buy a couple of pre-made packs that we can use uh, Little Sheep was a very popular brand of a uh, hot pot soup bases. They've got one that's hot. They've got one that's plain. Uh, we also got some other uh, spicy flavor hot pot seasonings that we've used along with some uh, hot pot beef stock soup base back there. We've also got our own uh, canned stocks. We've got chicken stock. We've got beef stock. We've got some uh, veggie broth bra downstairs that we can also use we'll probably make most of our soup bases from scratch but on those days where we don't feel like sitting down we can always grab one of these packs uh, throw it in a pot with some water blend it up real good for a quick hot pot mix and from there it's really up to you what you want to put in your hot pot we've got some dry chilies we've got some uh super firm tofu extra firm tofu that we'll be putting in 
Uh, we've got some uh, crayfish that's been dried that we'll put in, but you can also get dried shrimp, uh, different uh, seafood flakes to put in. We've got some uh, udon noodles and some uh, bean thread noodles that we'll be pre-cooking. So our noodles will cook, we'll put in a covered pot, and then when we build our hot pots, we can just throw them in a bowl with some water, throw some of the broth on it, and get to town. And we did purchase a sample set of some uh, dipping sauces. We've got a couple there that we'll be using, but we'll also be using uh, some uh, homemade sauces made from uh, sesame oil. We've got some uh, chili garlic sauce. We've got a sweet chili garlic sauce. So it's important that you have fun and you experiment so that you can find out what you like in your hot pot when you go to a restaurant you see a menu they've got dozens of choices at home you won't usually have dozens of choices at your fingertip unless you decide to start making your own dipping sauces and we'll also be putting some seaweed in ours we've got some uh, mushrooms some that we grew at our house and we dehydrated some that we bought at a local uh, international Asian store and uh, we'll be mixing those. And then we've got some uh, pineapple slices just as palate cleansers as we go from hot soup broth to mild and in between. And in our refrigerator, we got a variety. We've got some uh, squid rings. We've got some beef balls. We got some shrimp balls. We've got some uh, uh, peeled and deveined shrimp. We've got a variety of greens that we'll be using, uh, some tomatoes. And we just like to experiment. My wife is good about prepping different foods that we want to put in there. And this, I would like to say, is a star. This is a shredded beef. So we've got a uh, shredded beef that we'll be putting in and I believe my wife will correct me if I'm wrong. This is a uh, skirt steak. She corrected me. It's a flat iron <laughs> steak and uh, we'll be dipping this into our broth when we get it set up. So we're going to heat our uh, soup mix. We're going to take our homemade soup base put them in our hot pot, get them hot and boiling, and bring you guys back when we're sitting down at our meal. So, we decided to go with the spicy flavor of hot pot seasoning, and we just took this base, and we added about 40 ounces of water to it. Uh, we added in some of our toasted uh, garlic, um, what else did we put in this with? Shallots and ginger. Garlic, shallots and ginger. So we've got that boiling on the stove. We've got our hot pot set up. Now we're going to start fixing our uh, dipping tray. We're preheating our, uh, our hot plate and we'll get everything set up and then we'll uh, bring you guys back as we sit down to enjoy a good meal. So another safety tip that you have to consider when you're cooking with your hot pot is having enough utensils so that you have utensils for touching raw products going into the soup and utensils for taking cooked products out so you don't do any cross contamination. So we've got two sets of tongs that we use for grabbing products and dropping them into the soup. And we've also got scoops. I've got a set, my wife has a set on the opposite side of the table. So when we get ready to take something out, we use either the flat scoop or the bowl shaped scoop to put things in. But you can also just use uh, chopsticks. If you've got six people at the table and you're using chopsticks to put food in and to take stuff out, you want to make sure everybody has two sets of chopsticks. For our table, we don't allow our children to drop food in and out of the pot, hot pot just for safety reasons. As they get older, we may let them do that. But for right now, 
my wife, we serve them, we put in what they want to put in, and we take out what they want to eat. So, just a couple of quick tips uh, for food safety, and other than that, you'll be having a delicious meal. So, we're almost ready to go. Uh, the spicy soup mix is already at a low boil. We transfer from the stove to the hot pot dish, and uh, we're waiting on my wife's uh, milder soup dish, which mild may or may not be accurate for anything my wife cooks because she loves the spices. So we're going to set up our dipping sauces and then we'll bring you guys back as we enjoy the meal. from a pot into our hot pot slash shabu shabu pot and the family's already started eating um, I got some of our udon noodles in a bowl and uh, I'm gonna transfer some of the spicy soup mix onto it and uh, I think that'll be my mukbang moment for today because SK1 has already told me it's delicious and uh, he's a foodie so I'm going to trust his uh, take on it. Let's see if yeah. I can get some out. I shouldn't trust him. <laughs> Is he going to trick me and it's going to be super spicy? Okay. Is that why you ate all the food already? SK2? Mmm. It's super good. Mmm. I like it, I like it. it is spicy though. So. Oh, yours is spicy. Mm -hmm. I haven't tried that part. <laughs> oh, that's right. He tried the one you made from scratch. So, mm -hmm. the one I made is super spicy. So we're gonna sit down. We're gonna enjoy our food. Uh, our noodles we pre-cooked and transferred to the table. So all we have to do is take some of our soup and add it to a bowl. Conversely. You can take your noodles, if they're uncooked, drop them in your hot pot, cook them for longer, and just go from there. So, we're going to sit and enjoy our meal, and what I think I will do is just put a sped up time lapse as we go through, and you can watch a little bit of how we're adding stuff in and taking things out. So, did I forget anything, sweetie? <laughs> I forget anything, SK1. Oh, you can drink you know? uh, black, black tea on the side or whatever. Uh, <laughs> good point. So, uh, different people have different drinking preferences, but one of the things that. Hold on. <laughs> the pizza See? is delicious. Okay. He's trying to steal the show again. <laughs> uh, you can have different drinks. Some people prefer beer with their hot pot. Some people like chill, the aloe drinks or coconut milk, pineapple juice. Uh, I personally prefer a white wine with mine. Uh, I'm not sure what. I have a black tea. My wife is going to have a black tea. What are you going to have? Water. SK1 is going to have water because he wants to be super healthy on this video. <laughs> and uh, SK2 is probably going to have apple juice. Uh, but I can't wait to dig into some of those mushrooms that we put in there. So I'm going to sign out. Uh, encourage you. You don't have to have a fancy pot. Uh, we do prefer to cook ours at the stove at the table. Uh, so you do need to have either an electric griddle or a uh, propane griddle. Butane? Was, it, was there a difference? Butane, okay. propane, whatever type of griddle you want to have for it to be portable. So. On behalf of the family here at Essayance Family Garden, I'm Rob the Sapper Gardener representing Essayance Family Kitchen or Cooking. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> so God bless our great country America, you wherever you reside around the world, your garden, your harvest, your kitchen, your meals, and especially your family that have health and prosperity, especially in these troubling times. Take care. Sapper out.
And... SK2 out. All right. Well, we got him in. Take care, everyone. Thank mm -hmm. you.